haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. I was doing it, I was rep Oh, okay. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see your mother chick on your arm. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. For today's video, we are going to be doing a haul. It's been a really long time since we've had a haul on this channel. A really long time. I'm not even gonna front, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Your girl put on a ton of weight. A ton of weight. <laughs> like, I wasn't really feeling my body for a long time. I'm working really, really hard. I'm trying to get right, get back to me, okay? The other day, I actually tweeted off my new Twitter account because Twitter actually shut down my old Twitter account. At the end of the day, rejection is just redirection, so it's absolutely fine. I tweeted off my new Twitter account. So I'm gonna film a haul. What haul do you guys wanna see? House of CB actually won, so we're gonna do House of CB today. I have been eyeing this blazer up for like six months. I want to say, I want to say six months. And you guys know I've been on my journey and I was just waiting for the right time. So to start off, I've got this beige oversized blazer. I love this blazer. This blazer is such a boss babe blazer. I'm 5'3", so this blazer is actually coming up past my bum, which I love. And it's like past my crotch, I love that. I'm telling you guys, I've got 10 pounds to go. I am gonna be starting and hoeing like no one's business. Mini skirt galore, skinning all the way out. I love my body where it's at right now. Let's not play. When I was thicker, my bum was so big. It was one of those bums like I would walk past the table and I would knock something over. Like it was that big. Lillian, don't laugh. I felt like I was sharing the toilet seat with two people. Like my bum was so huge, okay? I'm telling you, I couldn't do mini skirt life. I couldn't do mini skirt, mini dress. Do you know what? Let me try and find a mini something so you guys can kind of see the vibes. Oh my gosh, my bum looks big in an oversized blazer. Do you know how shocking that is? So this is the blazer with the dress. Do you see how like the mini dress is like shorter than the blazer? Please believe this dress actually is from Mistress Rocks, which is like House of CV's sister brand. I got this dress like in 2018. I got the blazer in a size L plus, which is a 14 to 16 size. I was tempted to get everything in an L, which is a 12, 14. I will be very honest with you guys. I'm like in between sizes right now that's why i'm like fighting so hard to just get rid of like eight extra pounds because even if i gain like two more pounds like i'm still gonna be a solid 12 like right now i'm just like 12 14 12 14 12 14 definitely you could have gone a size down I'm kind of happy I didn't though. You like oversized stuff. I do you? like oversized stuff and I feel like even when I shrink a little bit more, it's gonna be even more oversized. Yeah, would you like? Really, I really do like that. So I'm like, I don't know. But anyways, back to the blazer. I love this blazer a lot. Like I really love the quality of it. So it has one button at the front, which you can kind of button up. And then you have two pockets here on the side. I don't like it when brands give us jackets with fake pockets. What, like, I'm not a fake bitch, stop, okay? There's also like buttons on the sleeves here. So I kind of like this blazer because it's something that you can definitely go from like day to night kind of vibe, which I love. And I just love like the structure of it all. Like it's just like a good blazer. I love the color as well. I think they had black in this as well you guys know i'm going to new york like imagine this me with my burberry bag so actually sunny and then my chanel earrings stop like this is so cute i love this if i get like chanel ankle boots yeah that'll be cute that's such a vibe who am i about chanel no. ankle boots i'll pose like perfect you know like the model of ge the candid ones when you're like in new york you think i'm not gonna do martinis stop i'm doing martinis i'll be like let me get my Louis Vuitton bag out. Let's say I'm doing like my grocery shopping at Whole Foods. And you know I'm gonna be a Whole Foods bitch, stop. Can I get that in aisle two? <laughs> no, honestly, this is how I show my girlfriends my clothes. Like, I'll be trying shit on and be like imagining myself in like different scenarios. Like imagine I'm like walking away and like, and I'm going somewhere important, I'm in a rush. And you say, excuse me, miss, come on. Excuse me, miss, Wait, wait, on. let me walk. Oh, excuse me, miss. <laughs> You know when I'm in New York, you know I'm gonna emphasize my British accent, stop. You think I'm gonna talk like this? Excuse me, miss. Hello. <laughs> Hi there. Pardon me, have we met? 
Yeah, we have. I met you just a few days ago. Where was that then? Was it we being Chelsea? Yeah, it was Chelsea. By the High Line. <laughs> Now when I'm in New York, I'm gonna have a book in my hand. I'm just gonna be walking around with a book, a book or a magazine, a Vogue. I'm gonna carry a British Vogue in my hand. Yeah. You think I'm joking, guys? I'm not gonna, I'm not like you UKers. Can we do this again? Wait, hold on. I've got a new vision for me, okay. This is British Vogue, by the way. This With my Burberry bag, British. I'm in the subway, not the train station. The oh, subway. Okay. Americans call it the subway. We don't call oh. it the train station. And I've got my British Vogue. In my hands. What and is it that you're reading? You don't know yes. me yet. Hi. <laughs> Ask me what my name is. What's your name? It it's it's Lottie. <laughs> it's you guys already call me Annie, anyways. Go on, ask me my name. What's your name? Annie. <laughs> Is it even an Annie Drill haul without a bodycon? Answer the question. Comment down below. Do you know what's so crazy? When I first tried this dress on, I filled it out so much, like it was so snug and tight. Sorry, I'm too kiddy down. <laughs> if you guys know me, then you know. I love mesh. Anything ruche, especially as someone that's curvy, like I'm always gonna need a little bit of stretch. It's like guys, look at this sleeve. Do you guys see that? Like how it just like opens up like that. I feel like it's so feminine. The color of blush it is on my skin, crazy. First of all, this keyhole situation, stop. Do you know that I've lost weight? My boobs have gone down so much. <laughs> Like Lillian can't relate because her breasts are so big But like my tits can now fit in like this little number here And I don't need a bra I mean I could get a bra to like do this But you guys know me, I love a natural boob, stop I'm jealous Even though my waist is like come out here, stop Like I just love how my hips kind of Do you guys see it or no? Like I have to do the Nicki Minaj pose You guys want me to wear a oh, waist trainer so bad I'm natural, stop! Do you guys want to see the backs as well? And the zip is like enclosed So I got these shoes from Zara and I was thinking to do like two pink tones and get a bag this colour. No. That's not bad, you know. I actually kind of like it. I feel like it's kind of aggressive. I don't think it goes. I think this needs like nude. If I wore like these YSL heels, strappy, minimal, and danger. I really, really love this. It's super feminine, it's super pretty, so cute. And I think this is like my favorite thing that I got, for sure. Okay, so this is actually the next dress. I really, really love this dress. This is like a midi dress. It's like all the way kind of to my like, shin. It's, it's too big. It's too big? You could look on the side down. Even the way it wraps, the bottom bit wraps around your leg is a bit too, there's too much material, because especially on the side, like the side of your boob, right. there's a lot of material there. Under, there's a lot of material and the, especially the back. I got everything in an L plus because I just wanted to be safe. This dress is so stunning. I really like it. You guys see the vision and the earrings? That is stunning. Like I look so great and mature. I feel like I can still rock it. You can. I'm gonna go to Auntie's shop and get it tailored. So the next dress is this chocolate number. I love this dress, but I think I'd love it more in like a couple of weeks. It has like a whole to neck situation and then these connecting sleeves, which I just love, that are like super flowy and they're like made out of like this kind of like sheer material, which I love. This dress is super, super snug. It is like crazy tight. I really don't mind the situation right here. Do you guys see like the flowiness of this dress? I love how the dress kind of fits around the chest area. I got this dress in a large plus and I had doubts that it was even gonna fit me. Like literally when I got it, I was so scared to try it on because I was like, I don't even think it's gonna go past my bum. And there's like a zip right on the bum area. I feel like the hardest part of like getting into this dress was like the sleeve because you know, like chunky arm. But other than that, this dress, I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to wear it. There's like construction around the waist bit to kind of like bring it in a bit. I love this dress. You know what the poop are, but you see how like it dips in here and then like my hip comes out? Crazy, I love that. Okay, so the next option is this bodysuit. I love this bodysuit, I'm gonna say it now. I wish I went a size down. If this was like super snug, basically it would have been like this. I paired the bodysuit with just some jeans, the jeans I was wearing earlier. I can imagine me wearing this on a more casual vibe. This is my favorite leather jacket. I wear this all the time, well it's faux leather. It's from Zara. Oh my gosh, how did it get so creased? You know, something sexy like this, oversized blazer to like add that mask some boyfriend jeans like probably do like a ton of accessories I feel like really showing them the whole look let me try it for them I don't know if you guys can see that little chain it's a cool vibe I feel like it's doing too much 
I like it. And then with the bag, with the Gucci bag. Something like this. I love this little mesh bodycon dress. It's so stunning. First of all, let's get into the sleeves. I feel like there's a common theme here. The mesh sleeves, it's just everything. And then, of course, emphasis, like stop. I also love the high neck. It's giving me very Y2K vibes. Like this, the silhouette of this dress is like, it's giving me very reminiscent of like, the early 2000s you know maybe i'm just guessing the dress is actually mesh and bodycon and it's very stretchy there is this like ruching effect as well and i feel like if you're someone that has a fupa like me that's like my cheat code like honestly i love how this dress makes my body look i feel like i look so skinny <laughs> It has this like high low situation like there's like a ruching tie up thing on the thigh here it's like a, there's like a slip underneath the dress straps here to adjust the sleeves this is like the sexiest thing ever i think i'd wear this dress all the time i've already worn it on instagram okay but i'm not like you bitches i will wear my shit soon. i don't care see this is how i imagine how i'm gonna dress when i'm in new york do you guys see like oversized blazer and then a mini dress that's so cute i love this watch me start smoking cigarettes when i'm out there go on guys do not smoke okay just for aesthetics Ooh, it's not even classy but it's just so yeah chic a bunch of y'all out there that are still doing balloons you guys are vaping and doing balloons let's all just kill ourselves together like, you know? <laughs> go and like talk to me like pretend like you're my friend well you are but like pretend you're my friend in like new york like guys i'm gonna be the fattest c word like i'm gonna smoke cigarettes i'm gonna be drinking red wine i'm gonna carry a british vogue <laughs> freaking magazine with me this is my vibe <laughs> oh my gosh i had like bread today and it wasn't even gluten free. <laughs> God, ask me what I got to today. What did you get up to today? I started off my day, 6 a.m. hot yoga, 12 p.m. Pilates, soul cycle at three. And then I went for a run on the Brooklyn Bridge at 6 p.m. <laughs> Closed everything off with a walk with the dogs. <laughs> What's your favorite song right now? I love that Beyonce shit, but let me tell you something, Harry fucking Styles. <laughs> He's the one. What are you getting up to tomorrow? I've got to do some feng shui in my apartment, so I've got to meet my interior decorator. I'm meeting up with an artist at 3 p.m. You know, paint like like John Basquiat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. What genre do you like? Genre for what? For music. I'm really into healing music. Boom. <laughs> you know the Janae Aiko shit? <laughs> and to be very honest, the world's my music. Oh. I'm a creative. I like to feel the earth. I like to get in touch with the culture. So you ask me what type of music I listen to. You know, the man in the subway playing the trombone. That is an artist that I'd like to listen to. I go down to my local jazz cafe bar and I vibe out. I'm a soul soul dude. I like to vibe out. You know, that's hip hop. <laughs> How do you feel about kids? Family is a new form construct. Back in the day, we would live in villages and huts. We would all look after each other's pitney. <laughs> yeah, pitney. I got a Jamaican friend, Larry. <laughs> he taught me that word. That's a tribal word for the children. <laughs> <laughs> You're Yoruba, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got Nigerian friends. <laughs> Especially back home in London. I've got a lot of Nigerian friends. Almost child, right? Yeah. yeah. Omo. Back in the days, that's what it was about. Traditional family values. Fuck off, that all shit just came in 19th century. Look, back in the day, that wasn't how it went down. You'd raise each other's Omo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm gonna have all the links and sizes that I got everything down below in the description bar. Thank you Lilian for being my audience tonight. <laughs> and thank you guys for your support, your love. And let me know what your favorite outfit was. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. To the moon and back. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I have anxiety and I can already anticipate the comments that are gonna be in my comment section. And I just have to like, okay, yes, yeah, stop. Like, I know you want to type, but just stop. It's okay. Just stop. <sighs> if I can make it there, I'm going to make it anywhere. What did you eat for lunch? Gluten-free tomatoes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's your name, B? I'll be for the colony bar. Is it even an Annie Drea haul if I don't stand here like this? This here, I'm concealing it for my husband. Stop. 